Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi Health and Wellness. This channel it covers, obviously, as the name said, health and wellness. And our wellness and health involve things that we've been covering, such as some medical conditions. But due to high rise in cases of mental health of all sorts, I felt that we, I need to now combine some topics of normal health, physical health, and mental health. So we can be talking about both as the case arises. So today, I just listed what men mental health includes. There are various types of mental health. Some people think that stress is part of mental health, but stress is actually not classed as mental health. However, stress is the adverse reaction people have to excessive pressure or other types of demands placed on them. So that's what stress is. But when it comes to mental health as a whole, there are various statistics I looked at and uh, here in England, because that's where I live, I normally look at things happening around here. And I noticed that mixed anxiety and depression, that 8 in 100 people are diagnosed with mixed anxiety and depression here in the UK. 8 in 100. That's quite, you know, alarming. And generalized anxiety or GAD. GAD, that's six in 100 people. Then PTSD, which is post traumatic stress disorder, generally known as PTSD, four in 100 people. These are just to show you that these things actually do happen and we must not shy away from mental health. The statistics also say that one in four people will experience mental health problem of some kind each year in England. And one in six people reports experiencing common mental health problem like anxiety and depression in any given time in England. A lot of people shy away from discussing mental health that should not be happening mental health is as important if not more important than our physical health because everything starts up there so we must make sure that we take hold of our mental health we sh must not be shy about discussing them people must not uh, you know talk you or shame you into discussing mental health, you, it needs to be discussed. Because once it's identified on time, people can now seek help and they'll be offered some therapy which can help them to live a normal life. But when you hide your symptoms or your family members hide you because they are ashamed or embarrassed about the situation, then they're not helping you, they're not helping themselves you are not helping yourself either. Children as young as you can think of, actually they also develop mental health problems. There are five common types of mental health problems. Anxiety disorders, that's the most common 
category of mental health disorders. Mood disorders, psychotic disorders, there's dementia, there's eating disorders. Yeah, because eating disorder is also a mental health. And another big one at the moment is bipolar. I'm going to discuss bipolar as a topic later on because it's a big deal. All the mental health, anyway, they're a big deal. But bipolar seems to be causing a bit of issue at the moment. So I'm going to discuss that as a full topic. And some of the main causes of mental health also include childhood abuse, trauma or neglect. You know, social isolation or loneliness, experiencing discrimination or even bullying and stigma, including racism, social disadvantage, poverty, death, and, and also this uh, bullying is a big thing among children. Maybe they think that it's okay to do that, but it's not okay. That's why when your child comes back to uh, from school and reports to you, any form of bullying or any type of name calling or segregation in the playground or anything at all that they come back and report to you. Make sure that you take that seriously. Sit your child down and talk with them. And if it becomes necessary, go to the school and deal with it. It's good to deal with these things as soon as possible. There is a very, very fine line between sanity and insanity. So you may think that, oh, I'm okay. I'm not mad. Because when people use the word mad, it looks like, oh, it means we'll be going around the uh, street doing odd things. That's not what that means. If anybody can just be mentally not okay due to one reason or the other. And we have to talk about these things openly so that people will be comfortable to talk about it so people can be comfortable to share their feelings and tell people what is going on in their lives without being judged without being laughed at because that can make the person to start hiding because they don't want to be embarrassed because our mental health determines how we think how we feel and how we act. So it's very, very important to take care of it. Good mental health is when you feel positive about yourself and cope well with everyday pressures. Because are we going to have pressures every day? Of course, once we are alive and kicking, we're going to have pressures here and there. But how we would you know tackle those pressures are very important. If you experience issues dealing with everyday problems, it could be a sign of a mental health instability and should be addressed immediately. Don't just keep saying, oh, I'm always... Because when people use, they use stress for everything and it's just people say, oh, I'm just stressed out today. It may not just be stress because, yes, yeah, stress is not considered a... A, a medical condition but when stress is allowed to go on and on it becomes a big issue so let us look after ourselves and look after others around us then there are some early warning signs I've, I've noted early warning signs that something may not be quite well uh, mentally is such as mood swings or constantly feeling low. I know that with women sometimes we have that in certain time of our year, year of the month or year in life. But if you are not in that category or it's not just about that, you feel that you have mood swings and constantly feeling low all the, you know all, all um, a lot, then that's something to it's a warning sign. Another thing is lack of care or personal appearance or personal responsibilities you don't want to take responsibility you don't want to care increased use of alcohol or drugs the next one is thinking life is not worth living when that kind of thought start coming in your head mm, that's a warning sign you're losing interest in things that you used to enjoy 
That says time. You're withdrawing from social activities and spending less time with friends and family. You, are dis you have disturbed sleep, either not getting enough or you're sleeping too much. You're eating less than normal or you're overeating. You're feeling irritable, oversensitive over or aggressive. You're having difficulty concentrating or remembering things. You are experiencing recurring physical symptoms such as aches and pains or other unexplained illnesses. That's if you are, you, are, you, are, you are working, there's a drop in your work performance that your manager may have noticed. Doing things that don't make sense to others. Hearing or seeing things that no one else can hear or see. If you you start noticing any of these signs I just mentioned. You don't have to notice all of them. But some of them, it's a time for you to seek help. Get things checked out. Remember, if things are caught on time, they can be handled. They can, you can be helped. There's no shame in having mental health issues. Once you are human beings, these things can happen. And remember what I said before. There is a very thin line between sanity and insanity. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again in my next one. Goodbye and God bless.